Greetings, everybody. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to the very first episode of XCOM 2 Long War 2, which originally streamed live on Twitch. This is a beginner's, no spoilers, casual Let's Play series. More information about that in the description. Let's get started. Yeah, okay, all the tags are right. All right, let's uh, let's kick off a new a new game. Uh, so Long War 2, <laughs> yeah, shave face. Long War 2 throws you right into the middle of combat right at the start. And I'm sure there's a lot of game mechanics of Long War 2 that I don't fully understand. But uh, here we go. This was... So I'm playing Long War 2 because it was proposed uh, for me to play. And it did well in the polls. Not well enough to be the main game that I play, but well enough that, uh, that here we are. Picking it for myself. So, let's kick this off. So picking a new wall, Long War 2, I'm going to show subtitles. We're going to be in Veteran. I'm going to enable Iron Man. And I'm not going to have any of the narrative content. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. Look at this a alien small scum. number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior of time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to report all suspicious activity to your Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds. So it's going to toss us into our first mission immediately. Eventually. Uh, the objective is to neutralize all enemy targets. I am ambushing an event troop column. Slums District, Blood Point, Beijing. Oh, I guess we'll be in, uh, we'll be in like Eastern Asia for this. Um, it sort of gives you a random location at the start of a new game. See, so we could have really been on almost any continent. I mean, not Antarctica, but still. And here we go. Beijing, here we go. All right, 
ambush enemy troops. The Advent typically moves its forces in large groups, but we've located a smaller unit on its own that is vulnerable. A well-timed assault will damage Advent's interests in this region and afford us a rare opportunity to bring home enemy corpses to research. Our position is concealed. Uh, all of these characters here will be eventually raffled off to you all, and then you'll be making decisions about how they level, etc. Uh, all this is written in the rules and the raffle. Uh, so here I am. And taking a look around. One of the things to note is, like, if I jump through windows or whatever, I immediately signal myself as uh, revealed. So that's something not to do. Don't open doors, don't hop through windows. I don't know why windows are, like, so magical that they reveal you, but they do. Uh, so I want to scout Moving carefully, trying to spot the enemy columns without um, overextending myself. So I think what I'm going to do is grab uh, Carl here and have him do a full move up top into full cover. I need some vision and having something up top would be good. No, he sees nothing. Okay. I don't, uh, I'm guessing they're not left. They're going to be deep. Uh, that that does afford me the opportunity to perhaps gain the high ground on them. Oh no, they're there. The Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or. I feel like I need to turn up the volume just a little bit, so let me do that. Uh, oops. There. So we have one column west, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, set myself up for an ambush on them. Or what I will call West. So I'm going to have two people um, take full cover behind these pillars and be on Overwatch while everybody else does a full run. As long as I don't go into these, um, this region here where I get revealed by them, I'll be fine. And then everybody else here, I'm going to put into either full cover on Overwatch a little bit further back or partial cover uh, crouching behind. And Ten some of the people that I initially moved are obviously out of position. Here we go. They're not walking my way, so they might not see me, which affords me opportunity to have a nice ambush. So this lady here, Carrie Woods, is going to take position behind this. Um, it honestly looks like an Aztec. And let me see, can I get, oh, oh, my opening move is going to be, although it risks destroying things, I want my opening move to be dropping a frag grenade on them. So, uh, what is your name, Carrie? Carrie, you stay there. Uh, so then the other thing I'm going to do is set a bunch of other, other, other people on Overwatch okay. and uh, be ready to react as soon as the battle starts. Moving out. Uh, so that this part of the battle column dies on initial contact. That's what I'm aiming for. Uh, maybe this is a better spot. And I will leave one or two people to float. I'll leave one person to float. All right, here we go. Overwatch trap, exactly. Grenade. Grenade out. And two got flopped immediately. No loot was destroyed. And now we have the complete kill of that uh, that troop column. They're done. I <laughs> love it. All right, so that group's dead. And now I am. This is the one that was floating, Dirk Hendricks. So I'm gonna have Dirk. Uh, try to find some additional targets. I'm gonna have him go a long run, which is kind of dangerous as the last move of your turn. But a long run. Okay, it was fine. Cool. I'm on the move. Oh, we found someone. Yep. Oh yeah, I guess they were left. These guys make up cool. the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. So we've got an engineer and some basic troops. No sectoids yet, as far as I can tell. They're also in partial cover, so this is a group I'm going to want to flank. Because otherwise it's going to be challenging to uh, to land good shots on them. So, Got it covered. go into Overwatch and see what they do. 
they're in Overwatch. And I'm in full cover here, so I'm not all that uh, endangered. Looks like they're all going into this little guard hut thing. There's heavy fire in this zone. Okay, so the one that's on Overwatch, there is at least one in Overwatch um, in there. I have to be a little cautious about that because they'll have uh, reaction shots. Uh, I think I am going to push up for a flank here, hoping the reaction shots miss. And they hit me for one damage. Oh, they get two reaction shots. That's not good. And he's bleeding out. Oh, good. I didn't see the second one go into Overwatch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call in the Sky Ranger uh, right next to where he went down and rescue him as best as I can. So now that that, um, now that they're not in Overwatch anymore, I'm going to take a position uh, roughly using his misfortune as my advantage. So let's... Uh, another thing I don't want to do is I don't, I don't want to reveal more map because if I reveal more map, I might just trigger more enemies. So... We'll avoid that if possible. There's really no cover. Um, this might be too loud. Hey, that is a big raid. Thank you for the raid. And welcome. You are also playing XCOM 2. What were you playing? I uh, This is, uh, for you and your raiders, this is me playing literally the very first mission of Long War 2 with that as the only mod installed. But uh, welcome, raiders. Welcome, welcome. I am trying to figure out how to flush these guys out of their cover without uh, exposing too much myself, which is honestly easier said than done. Roger that. Ah, uh, Mod Jam Plus, cool. Oh, well, Legendary Iron Man. See, I'm a, I'm, I don't usually play XCOM, so I'm definitely no XCOM vet. So maybe you and your uh, viewers can be helpful in this, in this uh, situation. So my chance to hit any of these targets is about 30s or so. There's not much better that uh, Carrie here can do. Uh, they're out of range of flashbangs, so I'm just going to take a miracle shot. And it misses, of course Target it does. He is going to use his grenade launcher, isn't he? His flashbang launcher. Yep. So I'll be disoriented. That guy honestly looked like he just took shots at his own engineer. So now I'm in area suppression by that shooter there. And then they're probably just going to shoot at one of my disoriented. I'm in full cover, so the chance of that hitting me was pretty low. Alright, let's, uh, let's get out of this situation here. Wow, 12%. 9%. Oh boy. Those are some, uh, really good numbers there. Oh my god. Well, these disoriented folks, uh, can't hit anything at the moment. And all three of them are disoriented. Try Carrie. Carrie can't hit because he's behind full cover. Uh, what I could do is I could counter flashbang, which is not a terrible idea. This guy here is bleeding out, and I'll save him, but I don't need to pick him up just yet, because that would um, remove one of my own from combat. All right, and then the one up here is panicked. Oh, they both are panicked? Oh, that's obnoxious. I don't really have a good, um, I don't really have a good thing I can do. He shot at me, right? Yeah. I could change cover, but I kind of like my full cover. So, miracle shots, I, I guess. Nothing like a point blank miss, but that's there's really not much choice. I'm gonna hunker with this one because he can't. He's suppressed right now. He can't. Literally, can't even shoot at anything without uh, basically guaranteed miss. Very stormtrooper vibes. Yeah, absolutely. Eh. 
We got a grazing. All right. What are they doing? Full court shot miss. Gone back into cover for a two damage because I was behind full cover protection. This one, I would not want to be here right now. But she held in there. That's good. All right, so the disoriented, or disorientation is removed, and then the ones up on the roof are no longer panicked, so I'm now to a full roster. Um, so if memory did... Did this guy fire here? I don't recall if this one is going to take... Uh, is an Overwatch or not. All right, you know what? You two can just Along eat frag. They weren't Overwatch. I took a bit of a chance there. Okay, Graze. So he's down to one. Uh, I think what I could do is actually just march right up next to him. And get essentially the guarantee skill. And whatever loot there was. A suppressor. Not bad. I think I'm going to stick in full cover. My chance to hit is about a quarter. So instead... Perfect. A flashbang that hits both. Alright, that works. Hey, John Banshee, thank you for the resub. And Nufi Edge as well. And Eka Illogical. Not only for the raid, but thank you for the follow as well. Here, uh, you raiders, here's my mascot. I'll put him on for a second here. Um, oh, I got multiple mascots. Uh, Ms. Tusky just joined me too. Here's my other mascot. Hi, girl. <laughs> got almost a full house. All right, Dirk. What what, what, oh, I didn't mean to click. That kind of sucks. Well, if I have clicked, I've ruined your turn just trying to tab back into the game, so let me let me just put you back, actually. And Yoda's, uh, Yoda, uh, Tusk is already gone, so all hail Yoda. <laughs> hey, buddy. All right, just miracle shots at this point. Ooh, a little graze, I take it. And this will be the last turn. Right, yeah, this is last movement. Hmm. I'm a little tempted to go go right up under uh, next to them, but the, the problem with that is if, uh, if it reveals more troops, that would not be in my favor. So... I'll play it safer until I start having med kits and stuff. Ooh, 15%. Eh, why not? Missed. Puppy treats. Will do. Buddy. Das war knapp. And what is he doing? Reloading. Probably gonna. Oh, he can't suppress because he's disoriented. Yeah, man. Take a heavy fire. Oh, I can't run up because I have to reload. Bit of a bummer. So instead, let me blow up some of the cover and harm the engineer. I think that's probably a better uh, better use of the turn. Yeah, there we go. One hit point left. That's good. And then, 
if I stand here, there is no cover for you. 76% chance to hit, and it connects for loot. Uh, is anyone close? No one's close enough to finish up that last one. Oh, that was, uh, I thought I was standing on this Marine, but clearly not, so I'm not gonna be able to pick him up in time. Oh well. One of the things that you'll probably notice in Long War is, like, people die often. You, you feel to, oh, so here's the second group. I just revealed them. You, uh, you feel a lot more, um, rookies and squaddies in Long War 2 than you would in normal XCOM. A lot more. There's just a ton of people, so... It's not so uncommon. Promotion earned. So now we have a sectoid on the back side of this container here. So I'm going to take up a strong position against them. I do believe that these are probably the last two enemies. So let's go one and two. Oh, and apparently this is a pipe that I could have climbed. But there's probably not... Yeah, I, I wouldn't have a line of sight if I went up there. So I'm fine with the choice that I made. Uh, where should Joe go? Joe, you go here. And... For Jal. And Overwatch. Alright, he's probably gonna make a zombie. Or panic me or something. Yep, disoriented me. Firebrand, it's time to go. Carry in it. Sure. Yeah, I'll bring Come on. Evac. Evac. Hey, pet Yoda. Surely. Oh. All right, there's, uh, eh, 35. Whatever, one in three almost. Hey, a grave! Hardly did anything. The soldier bled out in his turn? Yeah, I mean... We'll try to uh, bring the bodies back when we can. See if I can't bounce this over. Because this, this one here is on Overwatch. That looks good. Loot destroyed. All right, not a big deal. And stack up on this wall. Surprise! Oh, 38%. Ooh, didn't matter. Still graze. So Carl... I have to figure out who's going to get the loot. I'm going to send Carl... So I would like to try to kill this uh, sectoid, but no one's going to be in a position to kill the sectoid uh, on Last one turn. So I'll have Carl get the loot here. Oh, actually try to shoot the sectoid for a miracle shot. Now I'm way out of position, which is not great. Seems doable. Stuff, yeah. So I'm not going to take the chance. I'm just going to smoke him. Area All right. Area confirmed. confirmed. Secured. One killed, one wounded. It's acceptable. He did bleed out. Uh, so now I'm going to start doing the raffle. So we got a raffle timer up. Here, let me uh, refresh the raffle. And if you're a sub of mine, uh, you can have one of these... Wonderful XCOM soldiers named after you. So Carrie Woods carried. Not surprising. She was the initial grenade thrower, so she took a whole lot of them out. And uh, let's add one to the death counter. There it is. One death counter. 
which is too bad. I didn't. I wasn't sure where to pick him up from, and uh, guessed wrong. Oh well. So good luck, everybody. So Deluca died. Uh, we have got a whole lot of people to raffle, and actually, I'm not going to wait till the end of the death counter because I want whoever wins to make the decisions here. So first is this soldier, or actually, there's no decisions to be made just yet. Um, so you're becoming a ranger for light him up. And it's telling me about customizations and all that. Joe is a gunner. Carrie Woods is a specialist. You are an assault. Mr. William Brown. Carl Weiss, heavy weapons. Dirk Hendricks is a uh, grenadier. And last but not least, Igor Dudek is Chernobyl. Oops, I double clicked there. Uh, some of the loot we got, I destroyed all, some of it, not all of it. And um, while the Incoming timer's going off, I'm going to trigger some of the like voice line things that they want to talk to you about. Never mind. Those cutscenes are not adjusted for the volume. And oh my god. Sorry about the tinnitus. Um, let me just say that there was a cutscene there, and it was going to make you deaf. So I, I cut away from it. Impressive, isn't it? But this isn't so loud. Capable of generating immense power. You're completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the alien's technology. Commander, Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. TLDR, go hire scientists. Okay. Um, there's also new research to be chosen, and I'm going to have you guys vote on it. Uh, there's also stuff to be built. I'm going to have you guys vote on that as well. So first things first, uh, let's vote on new research. So... There is no right or wrong answer. Um, whatever you whatever you feel like. It doesn't need to be meta. I don't care about the game or story. So there's resistance comms, which allows us to um, contact other resistance groups more easily. Modular weapons. Alien biotech. And I think those are sort of the, the three choices there. So we'll put this up. And put a timer on it. There it is. So what research do you think we should get? Uh, we're also... Yeah, leave anyway. Apparently we're also um, going to be able to, to build stuff. And so I'm gonna, I can have you all vote on uh, specifically what you want me to build initially. There's room for us to expand our facilities on board the Avenger. Commander. Actually, given the slot that I have open, I'm going to make the choice myself. First. So I'm going to build a guerrilla tactics school here. We'll start work on the new facility right away, Commander. And then when we get I'll additional engineers, uh, I'll be able to open up more options for you all to vote on. So that there was the giveaway timer. So let me go over to the... Not the Commander quarters. Let me go over to... Commander to engineering. Soldiers. And I'll sign this uh, top to bottom. So good luck. So Shellbell, you are Zhao. 
And the way I'm going to do this, I'm not going to have you customize anything. I'm just going to grab your your name. And the way this works is when they level up, uh, you are going to be able to pick what abilities they go for. And again, I don't care about mana. I don't. You don't need to be making the smartest choice. You can just make any choice. And you're going to have uh, one of three choices. So it's going to look like this. Once you level up, you'll get one of three different choices, whether a saw gunner, a machine gunner, you know, and you just tell me one, two, or three. That's how this works. You have 60 seconds to do it. If you don't do it in 60 seconds, I'll just re-roll. Uh, I'll pick and re-roll for someone else to own the character next. Uh, next up, Carrie Woods, the MVP of the last, uh, the last engagement, and your nickname is going to be Garcia or Beavis. Beavis Garcia, because that's all that fits. All right, uh, Frida, you are wounded, because I let you get shot, and you are going to be Ryan Rell. And this will take me a minute, so I apologize, but uh, at least that gives you time for that vote timer. And there's a lot of people to be assigned right off the bat. Oh, Nightbot. Okay, well, you know what? Fine. Nightbot, you get this guy. Because, you know, why not? Mr. Nightbot. Uh, the beauty of that is it allows me to make choices for myself. Um, so, you know, that's cool. If you have codes to give away, um, message me on Discord later, because I do game giveaways. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do a game giveaway just now. It's, I am streaming. All right. Chaotic snow. Hey, it fits. Magenta Fairy? Dirk Magenta Hendrix? Or, no, you usually want me to just call you Fairy. So, uh, this is not supposed to be... Um, this is not a homophobic name. I just, I just want to make it clear. Okay, good? We're good? Yeah, this is not a homophobic name. It's just named after someone in chat. Because I don't want you all to think I'm... Uh, I'm <laughs> being rude or something. <laughs> oh, man. All right, uh, yet another. Lex DMS. Nice. And just keep rolling it. Mine's settle. I think that's going to be over the character limit. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm not going to... So Mine's settle. I'm going to have you... You'll be the only rookie I raffle off, but from here on out, I'm just going to raffle off a squatties because rookies might just die. So, wow, you... Um... Oh, it, uh, it fits. You look very Mennonite, or Amish, which is funny because they're also pacifists, so you're like a fighting pacifist. I love it. All right, so that will be the last of that. Uh, let's go back over to research, because it looks like modular weapons is going to be the choice. I do find that area of research so, to be modular weapons, um... Options available. We'll begin work immediately. I'll send word when a complete report is available. Hang on, let me, let me change it and then Commander, change it back. So I can read it off of what you've just chosen. Them. And I'll hide that from the poll. So thank you for voting. So modular weapons, magnetic rifles used by Evan forces are incredibly complex weapons. The rifles themselves self-destruct when their original operator dies, but with little effort, we might be able to recover any parts to improve our soldiers' own weapons. So that's what's going on there. I'll direct our efforts towards the new research. Don't be loud. Don't be loud. I think we're good. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you'd think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer, at your service. Hey, Tom. You were probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central. Hey, Cheese, can you toss him a shout out so I don't have to He's pause the cutscene? Gone. Dad gave everything he had to get us this far this entire ship is his life's work 
I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. All right. The general concept is that you've got troops have been keeping count scientists, of which unlock new research, and engineers, which tool. then puts that research into practice. That's a major oversimplification, but that's basically the way it works. Um, and those scientists and researchers are... Um, yeah, they're the crew to stay away people that you recruit questions. to be able to help you. Still so the more engineers that you have and the more scientists that you have, the faster that stuff goes. Um, okay, well, that is scored away. Uh, the next thing I want to do is to assign Haven Advisors. So I'm going to go to the command, go to risk assistance management. Uh, we have New Arctic. And the Haven Survivor uh, Advisor here should be one of the squaddies. So, well, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me just um, create a random number. And what I'll be doing is I'll be cycling whatever Haven Commander there is uh, periodically. So I just rolled a two. So Beavis Garcia, you are the Haven Advisor. And what's, what this does is they sort of coordinate the management of the region. And then uh, the next thing I want to do is to put everybody on intel. Um, except for one that will be on recruits. So intel is an important resource that you use to infiltrate and gain in intelligence. And then also at the start, most regions will have moles. So trying to gain supplies is rather pointless when the moles are destroying it. So um, that is not the... If, uh, that's not... There we go. So Carrie, the MVP of last fight, is going to be the new Haven advisor, just for a, um, just for a fight or two, because they don't really level up in those positions. So there we go, and then I believe all the things that I need to do on this ship are now done. So let's go to the bridge. Commander, good to see you on your feet again. Welcome to the bridge, the nerve center of our operation. The aliens have our entire world in their grip. Advent controls everything. Government, communications, industry, not to mention the military. And it's on us to take it all back. Resources and time are tight, Commander. It'll be up to you to decide how to best use both. The ship is yours. Yeehaw! Prepare for new operations and right. continue our research. Let's investigate the black market. Time by scanning at sites like this and we are Your in like start our scans on the Russia, area. Mongolia. The Avengers but China's here, so this would be the Kazakhstan or something. Or I don't know. My geography is a little. It's going to take some black. time, though. We've got a lot um, of ground to cover. All right, so let's start scanning for the black market. Nothing else better to do. And here we found it. The market is open. So in the black market, I can buy and sell resources. I can, so this is the stuff that I'm able to buy. So I could buy an engineer, buy a scientist. Uh, I'd like to try to buy an engineer, but I don't know if I'm gonna have the supplies for it. So right now my supplies is 50. So let's see what I could sell. I could sell, that gives me 60, that gives me 80. They don't really care about the focus. I'm going to sell all the Advent Trooper corpses and the suppressor. And then also the drone wreck and the focus. I'm just going to sell everything for that engineer. Because I think the engineer will give me dividends. So I'm going to go ahead and buy Duncan McIntosh. Hi, Dunk. Now that we have more staff on the engineering team, we can start clearing out space for new facilities, Commander. We should Lonnie Lemur, thanks for the resub. Routes, and Highland and Foolish Man thing as well. And Orcsban, thank stuff. you for the sub as well. All right, so we have the black market here, and one of the things that we could do with this new engineer, well, there's a few things. Um, I could either accelerate the time we'll it takes to, to build the guerrilla tactics school, 
or I could let me let me go back. Come on, don't lock me in here. No, quit locking me in. Or I can clear out alien debris. So I'm going to do clearing out the alien debris. I'm going to clear out this middle one. So select Duncan McIntosh and excavate. Staffing a facility. Commander, so far I haven't seen anything critical among the alien components left over in this area. I don't know. If we clean this stuff out, we could probably use this space. If you can rename engineers and scientists, I don't think you can. I think only soldiers. Time to get all that stuff cleared out. For most of our soldiers, the living quarters on board the Avenger are a step up from the conditions they've had to live with on the ground. All right, so the current project here is find more intel. That's pretty much all we're going to be doing. So we're going to go back to the bridge and just passively scan until things come up that we can infiltrate. Setting course for the Arctic territories. All right, here we are. These findings will likely prove and modular to weapons is not done. Efforts, Commander. So this unlocks the proven ground projects of scopes, laser sights, stocks, high capacity uh, magazines, hair triggers, auto loaders, suppressors, uh, and additional weapon upgrades as well. I don't have proven grounds built, so it's going to have to wait until I have that built, but it's good. Substantial research for later. Here's all of that. So next up, uh, what next research to do? So we have resistance comms and alien biotech. Uh, I'm probably not going to leave this up for all two and a half minutes, so I'll just do a brief, um, a brief poll here. So let's give you just a minute. Forget the owner's choice. It's just a 60 second poll. So I'll read these two options so that you're informed. A resistance communications. We know that there are isolated pockets of resistance around the world that are waiting for someone to reach out and organize them. To unite the resistance and forge a global movement, we'll need a means of communicating that is both secure and discreet. Alien biotech. Having successfully conducted the traumatic procedure required to remove the chip and planted by Avent, we now have the opportunity to study the inner workings of the device and gain a better understanding of their motivations. So one is the chip that was in the commander's head, and the other is a secure line to contact other uh, resistance movements. Uh, the reason I am ignoring basic research and engineering research is it's sort of, um, it doesn't, it's just research for research's sake. So as long as you have something to unlock, generally unlocking something is better. Really? A dead, dead even tie? All right, uh, I'm flipping a coin. Heads will be comms, and tails will be, what is that? I can't even see, that's tails. So we're doing an alien biotech then. I had a Thank you for voting. Already, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. And back to the globe. So soon, I bet. There we are. As the resistance continues to grow, we'll have a better chance of finding openings to strike back at Advent. Smash and grab sees Advent resource cache. The, the reward is enemy material. And I can confirm this mission. Limited, so we'll have to move and back. the way these work is very different than original XCOM. Now, again, I'm no expert, but uh, let me try to explain the best I can. Um, you have a base infiltration time at the top right, which is five days. And then... Depending on your gear and squad size, that infiltra infiltration time goes up. So big, loud weapons like gunners, uh, like um, like Shell Bell's gunner, adds time. If you use SMGs and stealth tech, it doesn't add time. And then the more soldiers that you bring adds time as well. So if I do autofill squad to autofill some of the rookies, as you can see, what was five days is now nine days, three hours. Is this a problem? Not necessarily, because going in with additional numbers can be safety in numbers. Now, in the top left here, you have the enemy activity, which is extremely light, which means that there's not going to be a lot of resistance. So we don't necessarily need a full roster. But on the flip side, really early on, everybody's like a rookie. So it actually might be a good way for this smash and grab to bring just a whole bunch of rookies instead as a method to level them up, maybe only having them escorted by a squatty, or, a squatty or two. You know, someone that has leveled up. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to say... 
uh, Nightbot and Chaotic Snow is going to come with me. And then we're going to fill the roster up with rookies. And what ends up happening then is... So so now you can see it's nine days, zero hours, because I didn't bring Shell Bell. Shell Bell was actually slowing us down a little bit. That's not a problem. I don't really mind about the size. Wow, look at this one. You came, what, straight up Fortnite or something? And unfortunately, I clicked it and screwed it up. Um, so let me redo that. We are removing you and you and Fairy as well. Because I would like to ideally try to get as many rookies up to squatties and then assign to you all as fast as I'm able. So we'll go with full roster and start the infiltration as the menace squad. So good luck, menace. And instead of immediately fighting, they're going to spend the next nine days infiltrating the target, building up intelligence. And as you build up intelligence, you gain more information about your target. Uh, some missions require 100% intelligence, and yeah. So we'll start the infiltration. We're just dropping off the, the squad there, and they're going to build up infiltration. So uh, unlike traditional XCOM, you can have multiple squads in the field. In fact, you're basically required to. So now all of those, um, all the people that I just have in the Menace squad are not going to be able to be used unless I abort the infiltration. Avenger no, I don't want to go to the black market. Thank you for tuning in to XCOM 2 Long War 2, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. Keep in mind that this is a beginner's plays casual no spoilers series. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I hope to catch you next episode for an upcoming stream. Farewell and stay frosty out there, XCOM soldiers.